right, everyone, it is seven o'clock, maybe a couple minutes past seven o'clock. I said that I was going to come on here and do a very quick live about um, how we're going to switch up Christmas this year. I'm going to take my glasses off because it's a reflection on my glasses. But anyway, so we're going to switch up how we're doing Christmas this year. Um, every year we always say, you know what, we're not going to spend that many, uh, that much money on gifts. We're not going to get this many gifts. It's a lot of different things that we say every single year. And every single year what happens, we fall back into the trap. You buy a ton of gifts. And then it's like, why do we buy a ton of gifts? So this year we're actually going to put it into motion and do something different. So before I get started, I want you guys to understand, if you kind of think about it, um, big business really plays with us. Think back to when it's Halloween, right? Hey, mom, think back when it's Halloween. Before it even gets Halloween, you see stuff for Thanksgiving, correct? Right. Before it's even Thanksgiving, and if you think about it, a lot of times they actually skip Thanksgiving. They kind of make it like fallish, but it goes from Halloween straight into what holiday? Christmas. So they're already putting it out there, what you should buy, all these different commercials and promotions talking about what you need to buy, what's big, what's important. And we all fall into the trap of buying a ton of stuff for Christmas. Hey, lovely. So this year, we're, we have decided that we're not going to fall into that trap again. And let me tell you how it even gets us. Um, me and Rico have even said, you know what, we're not going to get each other gifts this year. We're going to make sure the kids are taken care of. We're going to enjoy it. Just make sure we are like, you know, as a family unit, really enjoying Christmas. And every year, what happens? We get each other gifts. And I'm going to be the first to say that I'm always like racking my brain like, oh my gosh, what am I going to get Rico? Rico has everything. Rico is so hard to buy for. And then I'm on the internet and I'm on TV and I'm looking, okay, well, in this closet, well, he doesn't have this. Like I rack my brain trying to figure out what in the world to get Rico. And then at the end of the day, I end up getting him something, typically it's electronics and I get it and he likes it. But then what do we always say? Well, we really didn't need that. And didn't we say we were not going to buy each other gifts this year? So, um... Every year, we wreck our brains trying to figure out what to get for our kids and others for Christmas. And then there's always that pressure of someone getting you a gift. And you're like, oh, I did not get this person a gift. Oh, I forgot about this person. Or this person got my kids a gift. Oh, I got to get their kids a gift. And so the Christmas season and the Christmas year has gotten so bombarded down about being commercialized and buying all these gifts and spending all this money. And the whole reason for the season has kind of been pushed to the side. Like I would say, it's standing in the corner somewhere. And so this year we're doing Christmas different. Um, we're not going to be spending a ton of money, which is what it's being promoted. Buy this, buy this. This is what's important. Kids like this gift. Get this commercial. People were buying stuff for Christmas in October because you had the different sales and of course it first came out. We're not falling for the trap this year. So the other reason why we switched up Christmas this year is because how many of you guys have kids or even yourself, you buy these things and for the moment it's like the it. The kids are playing the games, the kids are playing the video games, they're playing with this toy. Like they can't get enough of the toy and then the next thing you know, like in a month or two months, you ask them, hey, where's the toy you got for Christmas? I don't know. Or when it's time to clean out the closet, the first thing they give away is what you bought them for Christmas that you went shopping for forever. It's like, oh, they don't want it anymore. And then you're like, okay, you know, I just wasted all that money. Let me tell you what happened with us. Reagan was dying for a trampoline. When she was cheerleading, they had the mats at the, at the gym and they had a trampoline there. Reagan was dying for a trampoline. We searched for a trampoline that had like the little protective things Reagan probably jumped in that trampoline all of maybe 40 times and then we had this big tornado that came and it just blew it away and it was twisted and mangled so we literally spent all this money for a trampoline that she rarely jumped on and so of course it's like you know why so again big business is in our head telling us we have to buy all this stuff spend all this money get all this stuff they are telling you what you need to get for Christmas all the way in October you know, you're spending tons of money. The kids don't even play with the stuff as long as you think they should or they outgrow all the stuff. And then you also got to think about it. 
they're continuously getting things throughout the year. How many times do you go shopping throughout the year? I know for us, it just seems like our kids are just growing at just miraculous rates. Like I promise you, I just bought Reagan shoes and clothes and it just seems like she's already grown out of them. But she's probably going to be taller than me in the next maybe three or four years. But we're not going to talk about that. And then Junior, he's older, so he's shooting straight up and he's losing weight. He's a football player, so his clothes don't fit. Or either they're now, they're too big because he's losing weight from always playing on the field. So then you got to go buy different clothes. Like we're always buying something. So you're buying stuff throughout the year. And the other reason is because it's time to start making this time of the season about helping others and getting ourselves ready to accomplish our goals and dreams a lot of the times we focus so much on december about being about gifts and it should always be about gifts it's time for us to say hey we're closing out 2017 let's start planning for 2018 which is one of the reasons why i'm doing this self-care challenge and it has a vision board on there and it has goals set up i'm not talking about new year's resolutions why do i not call it new year's new year's resolutions because people do not stick to New Year's resolutions. You make a New Year's resolutions in January and I promise you by February you've already fallen off. So we're not going to call it that. But it's time to start planning for the upcoming year and set a plan and stick to it. And that's how we should be ending December with being with the ones that we love, helping others that are in need, planning for our future year and doing things differently to make sure that we stop doing things that are not progressing us forward. Now, I said this is going to be short, so let me go ahead and get into what we're doing this year. And hopefully you can do it as well. And if you've already done all your, your Christmas shopping and you've already you know, got all your gifts, cool, you're done. How about trying it for next year? So what we're doing is it's called the eight gifts for Christmas. Yes, I said eight gifts for Christmas. Our kids are only getting eight gifts for Christmas. Eight. Wait, hold up. Eight. <laughs> Eight gifts for Christmas. That's it. You want me to tell you what gifts they're getting? It's broken down into four categories. They're going to get two gifts that they need. They're going to get two gifts that they want. They're going to get two gifts that they can wear. And they're going to get two gifts that they can read. No, Rico. So again, two gifts that they, they need. Two gifts that they want. Two gifts that they can wear and two gifts that they can read. Why are we choosing this or why are we deciding to go along with this whole thing? Okay, they may need new pair of shoes or clothes and underwear or whatever. So there's going to be a list and I'm going to post all of this in the comment section once I finish typing it all up. But the kids are going to get a list and the list says, give me your top four things that you think you need. The next one says, give me your top four things. And I'll probably make it five because it's easier to pick and choose. The top five things that you need. The top five things that you want. The top five things that you can wear that you need to, for, to wear. And then the top five books or things that you can read. Because now it's time to stop just giving gifts. And they're playing the video games. And they're watching the movies. But let's start getting their minds together. Getting them stuff that they can read. So. Once they fill out this paper. Of the top five things that they want for Christmas. That they can uh, need, want, wear and read. And then they give it to us. And from that list. We pick and choose which ones we're going to buy. So. Instead of you wrecking your brains and spending a whole bunch of money this Christmas, how about let's save the money in your account for things that you can do to invest in, things that you can do to pay off bills, things that you can do to pay off debt. Because it doesn't make sense for this time of year for you to end the year, let's say 2017, it doesn't make sense to end 2017 in debt. It doesn't make sense in 2017 spending all your money and entering the new year trying to figure out how you're going to make ends meet. That is not a great way to start a new year. Let's start the new year in the right direction with money in the bank, with money that we can pay off debt, pay off bills, invest, give back, help, whatever. So now that we have the eight gifts that they're going to get, we're also going to find a family or organization that we can give back to. And the reason why we're doing this, um, in our previous company that we owned before Rico sold it um, because his mother got sick, we had something that was called the Elite Calls. And we would find families during this year and holidays that couldn't afford to get food or couldn't afford gifts or couldn't afford, you know, lights to have their lights and stuff on. But 
we never really got our kids involved because they were so young. Well, this year, it's time to start looking for that because a lot of times during this time of the year, and I see it a lot with young generations, and being that I used to teach, I saw it a lot. Gratitude is not like it used to be. And a lot of kids nowadays are not grateful for things that they have because we work so hard to give our kids a better life that they get so much so easily and so readily that they don't appreciate what it takes to get those things. And so it's time to start instilling them, instilling gratitude in them, letting them see that, you know what? We try to provide a great life for you. We bust out. But to make sure that your life is better than what ours was. And so now it's time for you to see that you have it very, very good. Let's start giving back, appreciating what you have, helping those that are in need. So we're going to do the eight gifts and then we're also going to give back. And then it's also time to start really enjoying being with family because we're always so, so busy. And so the reason why that we have decided to do this is everything that I have said plus it's time to start spending less on these things when they're really not going to play with them that often and they're really not going to have them. And then in the next few months, you're going to have garbage bags full of stuff you're going to give away. Let's stop having so much consumerism because if you're anything like our household, it's like toys and games everywhere. And it's like, okay. We got to give some of this stuff away in order to get new stuff. So it's like every holiday, every Christmas, every birthday is like before they can get gifts, we're always giving stuff away to make room for new stuff. So it's time to stop consuming so much stuff that we really don't need. And plus, it's going to teach the kids something because now they have to really sit down and think about it. What is it that I really need? What is it that I really want? I have to start researching and figuring out, okay, what book do I want to read? And actually making sure they read the book. And then also figuring out what is it that I want to wear. And they can only give you five. So that means they have to literally sit down and think about what do they want. Because in the past, they just give you a long list of everything. So let's do less, con less spending, less consuming, less falling into big businesses trap. And let's just start doing more gratitude, you know, um, being more grateful and pumping gratitude. Only do eight gifts. And help people that are in need. Now, some people who are doing this as well are only doing four gifts. And it's one that they can need, one that they want, one that they can wear, and one that they can read. We decided to do two. Because, of course, they go from getting a big Christmas to this. So, we do it in baby steps. And I like the number of two better because they get two books. <laughs> there are two things they can read. So, that's what we're doing this year. I just wanted to share with you guys. And maybe we're all on the same page. Maybe you can agree with me. But I wanted to put this out here because I know that around this time of the year, it is very, very stressful because people are spending an entire... And they're spending too much money on things that really are not going to be around for a long amount of time. And, hey, it's going to help us. Maybe it can help you. So, again, for those of you who are just now joining us, I'm going to recap really, really quickly. This year for Christmas, we're going to help... Keep the bank account for hitting, getting a bit ding in it by only giving our kids eight gifts. We're giving them two gifts that they need, two gifts that they want, two gifts that they can wear, and two gifts that they can read. There's going to be a sheet of paper that they're going to fill out that's going to say, give me your top five for each category, and then they give it to us, and we're going to pick and choose which gifts that we're going to get them so they still really don't know what they're going to get. And then we're also finding an organization or a family to help during this time instead of it just being about getting all these gifts that they're really not going to use or have around for a long period of time so less spending less consumerism more gratitude and more help so if you have any questions just stick around and you'll see me post this up in the, the comments i'm going to post up the little flyer about the gifts. I'm going to post up the paper that the kids are going to read. I'm actually going to create that. Hopefully you can use it. And if you think there's somebody else out there that will actually love this idea or that actually needs this idea, then go ahead and share the video with them. So have a good night and I'll see you next time I do my live. Bye-bye, everybody.